Welcome back to Center Court Live, everybody. You know, Gary Payton was the man down in Corvallis last time the Beavers made it to the tournament in 1990. But you have to go back a decade earlier to rediscover truly the best team ever in Oregon State history. You know what? Record-wise, nobody has topped this team. The 1980-81 Beavers, they're probably the best in Oregon history, really. That team was loaded with local talent, and it shot to number one in the nation for a while during a magical run. And we take you back now with the man who engineered the Orange Express. <laughs> On the last day of January, in the name of Oregon Civil War, Beaver Nation rose up and shook old Gill Coliseum to its foundation. With Craig Robinson leading the charge, a few rows back, former Beaver Charlie Sitton could feel it. Old teammates Ray Bloom and Bill McShane could too. The 09 Beavers shooting down the rival Ducks. Reawakening the spirit of the greatest era this basketball hamlet has ever known. It was 28 years ago when Coach Robinson's bench belonged to the legendary Ralph Miller. We spin the record back to 1981. Back when hair was big, shorts were short. Oh, here we go. We're going to talk about shorts again. <laughs> and the unstoppable Orange Express rolled over everything in its path. Obviously, it was a special team. We were ranked number one for nine weeks. It was, it was a big ride for all of us. Win by win, the 80-81 OSU Beavers chased a perfect season and national respect. We had a lot of pride, especially the guys from Oregon, to get to number one in the nation and prove the rest of the nation that we were we belong there was was important. Seniors Mark Radford from Grant High School and Ray Bloom out of Park Rose formed the All Portland Backcourt Duo. It was a whole state of Oregon behind us. I mean, uh, Orange Express, you know, red hot and rolling. We were we were doing it. Mix in future NBA player Lester Connor, Milwaukee sharpshooter Jeff Stout, Rob Holbrook out of Lake Oswego and freshman Charlie Sitton straight off the family farm in McMinnville. I was the skinny guy out there, yes I was. And the big man on campus, Steve Johnson, a Southern California kid who would later be a Portland Trailblazer and Oregonian for life. I'm amazed just the goodwill that that team still carries. What's interesting is, yeah, even though I played 10 years in the NBA, I'm known for Morgan State. It's good. <laughs> It's all good. Johnson made history that year, knocking down a record 75% of his shots. I don't believe it. But the man who ran the show 100% of the time, Ralph Miller, who'd been coaching since the 50s and graded his teams on a demanding curve. Oh, maybe a D-plus if I was generous. Phil, you were 30 feet away. You do better than that. Ralph's famous saying was, it was my way or the highway, and if you don't like it, I-5 runs north and south every day. What the hell is going on? Miller's gruff demeanor and meticulous demands drove Oregon State to the brink of perfection. From December to March, they won their first 26 games. On January 10th, a giant step to the top of the NCAA mountain. The PA announcer announced that. You know, DePaul lost, which probably makes Oregon State the number one team in the country, and, and that whole place just erupted. Probably one of the most special moments I've ever had in there. But the Corvallis shooting star would fade in a flash, a meaningless defeat to end the regular season, followed by a first-game tournament meltdown that stings to this day. Heavily favored to crush Kansas State, the Beavers appeared on their way, but they unraveled at the finish. And a future NBA star, Rolando Blackman, shot a dagger in the dream with two seconds on the clock. Just like that, Express derailed, season over. Could never have thought that we would won so many games and to come up with just two games shy, you know, at the end, losing those two was heartbreaking. At the time, the almost perfect season was lost in the devastation. The headlines read, these are the worst of times. Nobody, nobody remembers that. They don't even talk about it. All they ever talk about is this, this one game. We blew it again. But 28 years later, Johnson, who set aside basketball for a real estate career in Portland, 
has a much brighter view on the past, thanks to a co-worker who in 81 was a 12-year-old fan keeping close track of his beloved Orange Express. When I had my uh, 50th birthday party, we had a party here at the office, and he came and he, and he gave this to me. There we are beating up on the ducks. Orange Express is number one, and look at this. OSU, OSU, OSU. I said, this, this, this is the best present that I, that I got that day. But every time he scored, AC and company had an answer. Green spins here, and Hill Ohio was in big. A senior lifting Benson High School to the 81 state championship, A.C. Green was an admiring beaver-to-be. They were city heroes. They were my hometown heroes. The following year, Green hopped on the express, and those 82 beavers shot all the way to the tournament Elite Eight, finally done in by Patrick Ewing in Georgetown. A.C. would go on to score his championship rings with Magic Johnson and the Lakers dynasty. Lester Connor still runs in NBA circles, now an Indiana Pacers coach, while many off the 81 team made lives in Oregon. Charlie Sitton owns a Tualatin hotel. Maintenance guy, jack of all trades, get to do, you know what owners get to do. Mark Radford, also in local real estate, has taken up coaching his two kids. No, I don't play at all, so it's a way of giving back. And if you don't block him out and he gets the ball, it's five push-ups. Hopefully teach him a little something about the old Oregon State ways. Oh, nice hustle, nice hustle. Congratulations, I thought it was Coach Miller retired in 89 and passed away in 2001. But the legacy of his Orange Express endures, and 26 and 2 holds up as Oregon's all time Division I record. Until they have another team that goes undefeated and is ranked number one for nine weeks, I think we'll probably still stand up as probably one of the best teams at Oregon State in all time. These are the best of but now, as you get older, what I remember are the meaningful relationships. You know, we are still a very close team. Close enough to reunite and rally around Coach Robinson's new Orange Express. A scrappy team that may lack the pure talent of their 81 forefathers, but not the heart to defend their home turf. We are used to wins, we want W's, but at the same time we recognize hard work and we know the foundation's being laid. And we respect that, we admire that, and now we're here to support that. The Legends for Change Tour, as Bill McShane put it, joining a Beavers basketball revival. <laughs> And that's worth rocking old Ralph Miller Court from age to age.